Greetings from Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Today, one of our latest acquisitions is none other than the, one of the most beautiful pre-war Cadillac convertibles they ever made, a 1941 Series 62 convertible. Tell you more about it in a minute. Greetings from Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota on a beautiful day in the neighborhood as they would say in Minnesota. Today we're going to tell you a little bit about one of our latest acquisitions, a 1941 Cadillac Series 62 convertible. I'll tell you what, this has to be one of the nicest ones we've ever had uh, over the years and uh, we've had a number of them, but this one is just outstanding. Every aspect of this car is tremendously well done and well taken care of over the years that it's been in the hands of collectors, of course. So what we have is a Series 62 convertible. Of course, it has the reliable flathead Cadillac V8 that was actually used uh, in many of the World War II equipment things. So it was a standard that was used for many, many years and was a very reliable motor in and of itself. Now this car is absolutely stock under the hood. Uh, you will see in the uh, startup video that it purrs like a kitten. It does not need anything. It's original configuration, right? Air cleaner, it's got the accessory wiper uh, kit, or, uh, spray kit for the windshields. Uh, just everything about the engine compartment is the way it would have come in 1941. The thing that's so stellar about this car is number one, the paint job is absolutely beautiful. A very, very straight car. Uh, the fits and finish on this car are second to none in all of our inventory that we currently have for sale, which is close to 100 vehicles at this time. The other thing about the car that I found so intriguing was the overall quality of the chrome work. I mean, the grill itself. Being a pop metal piece, that's an extremely uh, uh, expensive piece to have redone correctly. I guess that's what I want to use the word correctly. And this thing is absolutely beautiful. Accessories uh, on the front end alone are the accessory front bumper guards. And of course, the fog lamps, that was actually an option available in 1941 if you were so inclined to want that, those as an option. Uh, it's kind of a nice thing to have, even in this day and age. Um, the uh, hood ornament is actually the way you open the hood that uh, lifts up, and that's how the hood, that's a access to the engine compartment. Uh, one of the other things that I've noticed on a number of these Cadillacs over the years is the side hood chrome where the Cadillac emblem is. This has nice sharp lines. Everything about the, the deal is really nice. In other words, they started with really good pieces and when they had them replated, they didn't grind away all the details. And a number of cars that you'll run into, you'll see that they don't have as sharp lines as this particular one does. Of course, in 1941, you could have a radio. Of course, this car has an AM radio with the antenna being visible over on the driver's side. One of the really neat features of this car, and this is what intrigued uh, us to also uh, make acquisition of this car, it has the hydromatic transmission. It is an automatic. First year for Cadillac was 1941, and I'll tell you what, I took this for a test drive when we got it in, and it goes down the road just wonderfully, and I don't have to think about shifting all the time, which in this day and age, sometime is kind of a really, really nice thing that I didn't have to worry about. Uh, still has a cowl vent here in the front, so if you need some fresh air coming into the uh, driver's compartment, uh, just a pull, a push of a lever, and you got fresh air coming in. Uh, the interior of the car was done, again, just to the same as the rest of the car. All the chrome has been redone. Uh, the bezels are really beautiful. The horn ring is excellent. Uh, steering wheel is also really, really nice. No cracks or any of that sort of thing. Uh, also, it has a high quality interior. It is a leather interior with the red accented tops and uh, the, the uh, light yellow uh, uh, leather uh, driver seat and whatnot. Whereas the back seat is one solid color, which in 1941 is correct. The back seat was going to be different than the front seat. Uh, again, uh, they, in 1941, they did have power tops. It's not with the hydraulics, it's actually a vacuum operated power top. So you do have to have the engine running to make the power top go up. But it's kind of a nice feature that uh, goes up rather quickly in the event that you got caught in the rain. Uh, as you'll notice uh, when you see the pictures of the car online, it has beautiful canvas top with red piping that just really is a standout. They carried that forward as well in the, the canvas boot that they made custom for this car to match the interior. Um, 
Uh, this car has full skirts on it uh, with the big Cadillac uh, cloisonnés in there with the wide white wall tires, of course, which is very reminiscent of what 1941 was supposed to look like if you were driving a Cadillac. Uh, the other thing is the gas uh, fill is hidden under the left tail light. Uh, many a gas station attendant, the first time they ran into one of these cars, probably had a hard time trying to figure out where you put gas into it. But uh, it is one of our nicest uh, additions to the Ellingson uh, inventory right at the moment. Uh, you can vi view it at our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com for all the additional pictures of the car and details. Uh, you can find it on our Facebook page. You can find it on our YouTube channel. And you can also find it on Instagram. Uh, you can also come and visit us. We are open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5. Love to have you come in. Minnesota's got nice weather right now. You're not worrying about winters. So she is actually really nice at this time. So if you have any questions, uh, we're happy to answer them all the time. And again, we have close to 100 vehicles from everything from classic Cadillacs to the street rods, muscle cars, uh, bone stockers, you name it, we've got it here at Ellingson's. Hope to see you in the future. Thank you.